Deputy Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Elsie Awadi, has told Draw News the central bank is preparing to hand over its findings into the operations of these banks as well as persons who caused the collapse to appropriate state agencies for further action and advice. She spoke on the Super Morning Show with my colleague, Daniel Dazi. Well, we have said that we will look at what is available to us in our armory. Uh, uh, regulatory armory. Uh, we may have administrative uh, powers to declare persons no longer fit and proper to do business uh, in the banking sector. Uh, we would, to the extent that we have appointed a receiver, we would ensure we would expect that they would pursue any recovery that they can they they, they, they can pursue within the court system or any other means that are lawfully allowed. We would also be able to pass on all the findings of our, our investigation so far uh, to the appropriate state agencies that are mandated to, to investigate and to prosecute if need, if, if, uh, if warranted. So what we know is that there is a lot of, um, a lot of wrongdoing on the part of individuals that that contributed to the collapse of these companies and we will not stop at revoking their licenses we would ensure that we pass on to the appropriate quarters what uh, needs to be followed up through and we will be judgment you said you are, you are passing on these documents of investigations done so far when is this handing over being done who are you handing them over to well that's Still work that's ongoing. Like I said, we've just appointed a receiver yesterday in the person of Mr. Nia Mano Doju. We're going to be working with them so that they can pursue all the civil uh, options that are uh, civil law options available to them, going to court and all of that. Uh, they would also take steps to report to their appropriate quarters, guided by you know the findings of all the reports we have so far. So that you know, the appropriate appropriate agencies take uh, take up these matters. When we're going to do that as soon as possible. Now we've given you details of this new consolidated bank, Ghana, and those who are going to take over operation. But let's tell you about uh, the banks that were struggling and uh, had to be dissolved as a result. So uh, from left to right, you have Stephen Bodzi. He was managing director of Construction Bank, or say Asafuwe J, was managing director for the Royal Bank. Dr. Dufour II was for Unibank. Joan Reeder was for the Royal Bank. And Mike Nyinakun was for Beige Bank. Now we'll take you to uh, the banks one at a time. We'll start with the Construction Bank, give you a few details of when it started and uh, what led to its collapse. So the Construction Bank collapsed. After only a year in operation, it was open for business in June 2017, becoming the 34th major bank in Ghana. There's just a lot more details uh, to give you from the construction bank. They will move to other banks shortly. And uh, okay, let's move to the Beige Bank now. Uh, with Ghanaian ownership, uh, it began as a microfinance institution in 2008 and transitioned to a saving and loans company in 2012. It was licensed to operate as a bank in 2016, but an eight-year progression ends in July 2018. And we were told uh, that the Beige Bank Limited obtained the license under false pretense. Let's come to Unibank Ghana. It was incorporated in 1997 as a financial service provider and became a bank in 2010. But eight years into its banking life, the Bank of Ghana dissolved uh, after the bank's capital adequacy ratio fell below 50% of the required minimum of 10%. The Royal Bank is a wholly owned Ghanaian company and was licensed in July 2011 and began operations on the 10th of December 2012. Well, unfortunately, the bank cannot mark its sixth anniversary. Let's come to the Sovereign Bank. It was granted a license to operate as an investor bank in January 2016, but by July 2018, it was no longer sovereign.
So we are running our checks around uh, branches of these banks, Beach, Sovereign Construction, Royal and um, Unibank, and we'll be bringing you details, my colleagues, are on the ground and bring us up to date with what's happening. We know the banks have sent notices to customers that they will open at 1 p.m. later today. We'll bring you all the details you need to know on this developing story.